Welcome, lovely viewers, to Ultra Ranger Episode 2. They're not lovely. Well, they're lovely to me. Oh, that's nice. You're not, you're not stealing the Game Grumps name for their, uh, for their fandom, the lovelies. They're the Ultra... You're the Ultra Lovely viewers. Ultra Rangers. We don't have Crunch today, but Noble's still here. And me. Yeah, oh, yeah I'm lying. still here. I'm here. I, I got freed, and I came of my own free will. So Yes. And I'm here early this time, because I'm not playing State of Decay. Yep. And That's I... why I was late last week. <laughs> if, Cr if Crunch was here, he'd be complaining about how kind of disappointing Xbox One is for him right now. <laughs> He's just like, Halo, 100 gig update for Halo 5, what the fuck? I'm like, yeah, that's what happens when the game's been out for, like, almost two years. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking yeah. of which, isn't today uh, Overwatch's one-year anniversary? It is! Yeah, so. and the next Kamen Rider was revealed. <laughs> oh? The, the yeah, Genji Kamen stuff. Rider Ryuji. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, Kamen Rider Genji. <laughs> yeah. Or as I like to call him, Ninja Green Genji. I call him Genji. Ninja Sentai call him Genji Ranger. Green. Yeah, so just quickly... Uh, Overwatch, like, their anniversary event or whatever, they, like, release new maps, new skins, new, like, dance emotes for every single hero and stuff, but the, the one skin that's been kind of popping out, popping out of all the rest, uh, especially among the Tokusatsu community, is that Genji has a, uh, kind of Sentai-looking skin called Sentai, and it just makes him kind of look like, like a blend, uh, a blend of, like, different Tokusatsu heroes, and it's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, it looks like a it looks like a mix of a uh, common rider, uh, Sentai hero, and Shout Bond from Cross Wars, almost with the giant V fin for his helmet. Oh god! And luckily, I had three thousand gold when I loaded up the anniversary event, so I literally just bought him without hesitation because I'm like, if you're a Toku fan and you play Overwatch, you have to get that skin. Now, quick question: Can you buy these skins like after the event? No, no. So they're only available until the event's done. But then they that might go the, back to it later. Yeah, that is the one thing I hate about Overwatch. I don't have the game, but it's like, there's all these events that have all these really cool skins, and it's like, yeah, I'm never going to be getting any of these skins that I like. No, but I feel like they'll, oh, do, a, well. they'll do a thing where they'll like, oh, Cri week, oh, one week only, you can buy like these skins that you like. It's going to be the Christmas shopping day, like the shopping thing. It's like, oh, oh all these... All the skins that were only for a limited time, now you can buy them for a really cheap price. Yeah, pretty much. Fuck, I am too good at this whole business but, thing. Uh, yeah, but uh, honestly, like, what I always do is I don't mind shelling out, like, $30, $40 to buy some loot boxes to get the shit I want, so... Mm -hmm. Other people say I'm wasting my money, but I'm not the only one who does it, so I don't give a fuck. Game yeah, and, you, and you only get, like, 20 or 30 You don't get, like... 500. Yeah, well, I'm not like fucking Kitty Cat Gaming or something where they open like 200 boxes and I'm just like, Jesus Christ. Hey, wait a minute, isn't this Ultra Ranger? Oh, yeah, we're talking about Ultraman or Virgin Saga Episode 2. Yeah, cue the roll call. <laughs> Explorer from the Unknown, Yellowcaster, Auto Guard. Loyal and Lab, Pinkmaster Lightrin! From Royal to Ranger, Orncaster, Noble. Paying respect to the original Japanese heroes, Radio Sentai Cast Ranger, Ultra Ranger. Wow, that bro call feels really weird when Crunch isn't in it. Yeah. Uh. Might as well add the Tayo Sentai Sun Vulcan opening to it since but we're how about to How it. about that reverb on that schwa? Yeah. But yeah. yeah, we are here to talk about episode two of. Uh, Ultraman Orb, the Origin Saga, and Episode 2 of Ultra Fight Orb. And for what I saw, Captain Shinra was a traitorous asshole. Guy was trying way too hard to find someone to take care of this child so <laughs> the juggler could stop his bitching about why we still fucking have this kid around. Some a place take my baby! And some human scientists found the alien tree. Seedling. Shohei. Yes, sure. Yeah, you should see these fucking notes that Gar wrote. He literally, like, put the entire episode into fucking words. Like, it's incredible. 
Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, it's a good thing because, like, you're huge on fucking fan fiction, but, like, <laughs> when you go all out on, like, making notes or reviewing shit, you go all fucking out. Fuck that's, yeah. That's why I love your Toku vlogs, because you just, like, you always go into such great detail. Like, when you were talking about, like, your Ready Player One book, how you finished it, you were, like, went to such detail about it, and I was just like, wow. Yeah, because I was like, just... You love that book. I fucking love that book, and I'm sad that I finished it. Yeah, one of my one of my favorite, favorite books. You know what the best mm-hmm. part about books though is? You can reread them. Yeah. Or re listen to them. Yeah. But I'm not gonna listen to Will Wheaton again. Yeah, he mispronounced Why? because great. he mispronounced everything. He called Mazinger Mazinger. No no no, it was Mud like Majinger? Majeller. Majeller. Oh. Majeller. It's not his fault. He was in Star Trek. He called ma- he called manga manga. I almost made that mistake. I- yeah, He's a there. white dude from California <laughs> who now just plays tabletop games for a living. And sometimes shows up on Big Bang Theory. Yeah, as the antagonist or as, like, Sheldon's bully. Yeah. Fuck, now yeah. we want him on the show. Like, uh, Will Wheaton, uh, welcome uh, to Ultra Ranger. <laughs> as much as I love Will Wheaton, he sucks at tabletop games. Oh, well, I wouldn't doubt, I wouldn't doubt with, her, with passion. He but, played Dungeons and Dragons like three times and never rolled higher than like a twelve. Wow. Poor guy. Anyway. So, uh, are we gonna talk about uh, Qui Gon, uh, Obi Wan, and Anakin now? Uh oh, you Qui Gon, Qui Gon juggler and. Uh, Obi Wan, yeah. Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> no, yeah. Obi Wan Kenobi. Oh yeah, Obi yeah. Obi Wan Kenobi. And Anakin Reverb's Reverb Walker. <laughs> but he didn't really have that much like dialogue this episode. I, no, he yeah, didn't have any dialogue. God. No, he just he cried. Cry. No, and then you just see fucking guy take out like his harmonica or whatever, like space harmonica, <laughs> and just starts playing like his song that we all fucking know and love. And, like, and I'm mouth. just like, I'm like picturing the kid looking over. My parents are dead, you asshole. And just in uh, my notes, it's like, where are we gonna learn about when guy learned about that song? Never. No, no. In, in the back of my mind, I'm just like, I want him to look over. That hurts my ears. You're playing that right next to me. Could you step back a few feet? <laughs> Ryan, yeah, I don't feel so good. Blood's coming out of his ears. But no, like, this entire episode, like, Juggler was just bitching and complaining to me, like, you never listen to me! Like, he's, like, being, like, the whiny girlfriend in a relationship, like, I always but tell you to do this, true. but you never listen! I'm trying to teach you how to be a good old trainer, you just don't listen to me! Just but listen! It's true, though, true. think about it. This area has a weird, like, magnetic field. Don't go, god damn it. Oh, look, a giant thing. What do you know? It's like I said, don't go down here. Yeah, and then, like, they get to, like, this, like, sort of, like, fucked up village or something that you can call a village, I suppose. I, I call it a quarry in my notes. Yeah, it was just a quarry with, like, some abandoned, broken-ass houses, and he's like, guys, like, oh, there might be people down there who can no, take care of this no, child. No, I was like, there is people down here. Juggler's like, there's fucking no way here. And, and then like, Juggler's like, I have a bad feeling about this. And, and then well, Guy jumps down anyways, he's like, you fucking no, idiot. Lo and behold, a Bemstar shows up. Uh-oh. But this Bemstar is different. It's bigger. Not only that... Well, it no, can Bem, fly. Bemstars are usually that size. <laughs> it was infected with the... Uh, oh, the Belzeba, Queen's thing. Belzebub's poison. Belzeb. In which, Guy's like, take the kid over there. It's like, okay. And then uh, Juggler like gives him some advice going like, Hey, if you build like use momentum. enough, build up some momentum, you can literally grow to his size. And then we kind of see him, like, I guess, like, slightly but, like, smaller than normal. But, like, he is supposed to be, I think. I don't know. They didn't really, like, But he, like, he grew that, fucking like, he grew huge. Bigger. Yeah, because we didn't get to see, like, a kind of, like, juggler to Ultraman or perspective. So we can't really tell, like, how big he, he is. We're not going that... That much in the fi- well, we're not going film theory into the shit. Well, maybe maybe that's just, maybe this that's just how we learn to like grow bigger. Yeah, probably. So. Yeah, he he went from one forty four to one one hundred. No, it's like in Godzilla nineteen eighty four. Oh, the original Godzilla was fifty meters tall. This one's eighty. Yeah, we watched Godzilla Returns recently. That was a great movie. Oh, that was such a fucking decent movie. It was so just good. Mwah, oh mwah. yeah. 
No other monsters. Well, except for that fucking st- tiny little thingy, but oh, yeah. we won't talk about that. Yeah. Anyways. But yeah. Meanwhile, at the fucking Queen's Planet. Yeah, I swear, the whole entire, like, Queen subplot was the plot of the episode more than, you know, our main hero. Yeah, they were, like, stuck on that planet the entire fucking time, and I'm just like... Go on, let's go. Like you, 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 something? You, 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 you failed to save these this child's parents. You didn't really do anything relevant. Just, just go, <laughs> go away. <laughs> You're making things worse for these people. Like that's what they ended up doing afterwards. Because guy got his ass kicked again. Well, I mean, he's new at this whole being an Ultraman thing. Yeah. So which Juggler just runs up to him, and then they just magically fly into space after the Bem Star. But I had a question to Gara when I was like watching. I'm like, so wait, so so Ultraman Orb isn't like his own like separate Ultra being. It's just like a power that's given to someone who's chosen. I don't really know. Maybe I, it, it, se- it seems that's what it is. It seems just like a power. Yeah, well, because that's what Tiga was, right? It was, Tiga was also a power. Or it was like an ancient being, but then it got turned into a power for a guy to use. No, Tiga was his own thing. Oh, okay. It's just, you know, thousand years. Oh. Queen and stone kind of doesn't have it, it feels like the orb powers are kind of like a fucking lantern ring. You have to be worthy to use it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then he's going to find another Ultraman orb, but he's going to be blue. One's going to be green. Then the green one's just going to kill everyone. Fuck, I need to watch Tika. <laughs> Jesus, you, you went really dark there all of a sudden, Gar. Why the fuck would the green one kill everybody? I don't know, why how Jordan kill all the other green lanterns? Because he was... That shit crazy. Uh, no. Right. John Stewart's best green lantern. Uh, John Stewart's technically not a green lantern now. I don't care. John and Stewart's the... How do I put this? The non-Caucasian one, right? Yeah, he's the black one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yes, he he's the black one. He's the one I like. Uh, anyways, so then like we cut to Shinro and we're talking to I forgot his fucking name, but I love the guy. Psycho. Psyche. So Doctor Psycho. Oh, Doctor Psyche. Yeah, yeah. Doctor Psyche, and like. He's like, oh, so are you going to, like, accept my offer or whatever? And he's like, no, in fact, I've come to kill you. Hell, in fact, I've planted bombs everywhere, and I have the detonator that will, uh, I can press here to detonate the bombs. And I'm like, why would you say that? Why would you explain your entire fucking plan? Just blow them up. And then he's like, yeah, minute, oh, but do you minute, want to do that? Yeah, the minute he explained his whole plan, I'm just like, oh, so you're the villain of this episode. Yeah, Shinra's Shinra's got some issues, man. Oh, so the Queen did want was going to accept his offer? No, no, I'm... basically she didn't know what Dr. Psyche really wanted, so she sent Shinra, yeah. you know, her personal bodyguard. Yeah, no, I know that. To much. go to the plant to find out what he wanted. Mm-hmm. He came back and he's like, "Oh, he'll make peace if you give him a sample of your blood." Right there, I went yeah, that's poisoned. Mm. I, I, I've seen enough Disney movies. That's poison. <laughs> Don't touch it. Don't yeah. touch it, you idiot. That's poisoned. And when she doesn't do it, though. Because she's yeah. like, no, nah, we'll figure another way. Or, uh, and my other thing was just, or, you know, cut yourself, drip it into, like, a bowl or something, and then stick it in there to drain it. Yeah, well, like, that's really a thing that I want to question. Like, there was a spike on the end of it, so how would it... Or is it like a suction cup thing? Like, if you prick your finger, you leave it in, it'll suck up the blood. I'm guessing it works kind of like a needle. It's just a giant fucking needle. Where it has, like, a hole in the center that it'll drain from. Yeah, Yeah, but then the Shinra, like, tries to assassinate the queen, and then, like, there's some shit where, like... She has flashbacks of... Her, her mother, mother being the war god. It was it's fucking awesome, by the way. Yeah, I because, loved that out that fucking design. Because she was fighting enough a rampaging ga- or kaiju uh, many years ago. <clears throat> you want... <clears throat> oh, my apologies. Lane, you want to know what the kaiju's name was? What? Gargorgon. 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 
Gargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargargarg
But yeah, so, like, you know, it's still, like, early, because, like, this is, like, a 12-episode series, yeah? So, yeah, we're only the second episode in, so things are starting to unravel, but... Hopefully next week... God, hopefully next week Kyle will do something relevant. <laughs> hopefully next week this whole entire, like, bit thing here, like, the thing that I call a note, <laughs> involves more guy and juggler. Yeah, because, like... I get, like, you're trying to establish your other characters that are, like, supposed to be important in the series, but, well, like, I th- I think it's about Guy! That's all well, we care about is Guy and Juggler! So... Well, I, no, you want... Lane has a fair point here. They want to establish the other characters, because we just watched the 25-episode actual show involving them. Yeah. So, let's give... We know how their story is going to come to an end. Mm-hmm. So let's give the other characters some time. That's why, like, they're showing, like, Juggler about to get, like, hit by an asteroid. And I'm like, we know he's gonna survive. It's fucking, like, you've seen the show. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we know Juggler's gonna survive everything. We know Guy's gonna survive everything. It's like, for with, fuck's sake. Like, Dragon Ball Super now, because, um, the head writer's just like, oh yeah, the ending to Z is still canon. So basically, you just confirmed everyone's still gonna live at the end of Super. Yeah. So here's something I have an idea about. Hmm. Remember that? in episode one when uh, Science Dude and Empress Chick had that weird bonding experience? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and in this episode, it's on the notes, but because it only happened briefly. Um, she, when she cried, he had a tear fall. Yeah. What if we're not playing with uh, two sides of the same universe? What if we're looking at two sides of the same time? Same timeline? As in, the science, pe- can... the science people are in the future, and he's an ancestor of the queen. Or this could Which all is why be he connected your... with the seed thing. Or this could all be related to like a your name kind of style of story. Well, because think about it. This is way in the future, so he still hasn't come to Earth and fell in love with Natasha yet. It's true. Again, this isn't the same Earth, though. Do we know that for a fact, though? Yes, I do know that for a fact, because once they do arrive on this Earth, there are already other Ultraman. Again, I won't say who it is. It's not it zero. Is it, no. <laughs> is it Ultraman Earth by any chance? Is it, it Geed? <laughs> it is Ultraman Earth. Okay. Everybody listening uh, to this is going to be like, the fuck's Ultraman Earth? It's like... Ultraman. Guy, guy who's afraid Zera. of getting dirty. Oh yeah, Zerf. No, that's Perfect. Zerf. Oh. It's Ultraman Zerf. What There's his, Zerf? Name, his name. <laughs> Fuck, we should talk about that. Cast Ranger or Ultra Ranger. Oh, all right. So then we go on to the second episode of Ultra Fight Orb, which more things kind of happened. Yeah, like Z- Zero and Orb teamed up, and we got to see like, which I didn't expect, like this awesome fucking Orb form where he used three different Ultraman cards, and I was like, can he do that? Yeah, it's his Trinity form. We knew about that, like, a while ago. No, I know. I know he did, and I probably have seen the form. I just completely forgot that it was a thing, because it's been so long since we talked about it. Plus, no one subbed the Orb movie yet. It's so. because it's not out on Blu-ray. Oh, okay. Doesn't come out until July. Here, don't come out until yeah, July. Yeah, I, I, I remember Trinity form because of the weird saw weapon. Well, I remember the sh- seeing the shoulder pad. I'm like, oh, okay, that looks familiar. But yeah, so it's like a fusion of X, Ginga, and Victory. And I was like, oh, okay, so the three Ultramen that fucking fought together. Cool. Well, yeah, because we gotta keep a tra- gimmick line. Ginga yep. saved the franchise. Victory kinda didn't do anything. X was decent. Not perfect. And then on the Ultra Planet, Planet of Light or whatever? The, the Land of Light. Land of Light. At uh, the Space Garrison yeah. headquarters, yeah. we see Ultraman Zafi, Ultraman Se- Ultra 7, and Ultraman Jack all talking about, like, this weird energy kind of... And then they're like, yo, should we go to it? Yeah. Well, yo. that, well my son's there. Well, can, so. can I talk about that scene real quick? Sure. When they all jump away, they all sound like old people trying to sneeze. Well, they are old Shit. people. <laughs> they do, though. Hey. They sound like old people sneezing. 
Hey, why don't we wear our mantles when we fly? We'll look cooler. No capes. No capes. No capes. No capes. In space, no one can hear you cape. No one can hear you fly. Um, and then, yeah, they're about to, like, fight, like, two monsters, and... Yeah, one of them still... Uh, oh, then we see Zero's, like, ultimate power-up, and I was like, wow, is he fucking ever compensating for something, so... Ultra lane. Ultra quote. lane? Ooh, I like that. <laughs> no, you know, ult ultra, ultra pink, ultra yellow, ultra orange, ultra navy. Ah. To ultra quote, ranger. To quote Frieza, that's not even his final form. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is even my final form. Yeah. That's not even his before his before his final form. Oh shit! Common Rider X A D entire series. Yeah, so that that was uh, you know, that was cool. Like they're pretty they're pretty much just showcasing off forms. But I love that just that form orb had like uh, the Ginga and X one. I love that form. Yeah. It's so cool. It kind of reminds me of Gridman, honestly, a bit. Oh, Gridman. <laughs> yeah. Kinda. Hey, can I come back? No, no, no. You go to sleep. <laughs> you, you stay in the computer. You sleep. <laughs> guys? Just turns off the monitor. And just Wait, guys, come on! I can, I can help! <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, this has this been Ultra Ranger episode. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Dose. <laughs> guy, would you like to end it? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I would. <coughs> okay, go, go ahead. Oh, oh, you meant the episode. Yeah, no, don't, well, put that gun down. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Car, would you like to end I'm this, please? There. Oh, yeah, uh, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, this was Ultra Ranger episode two. If you're listening to this, I hope you enjoyed both the double, both the first episode and the second episode. First episode was done last week, but since Blue Castle was like, "Oh, you said it'll be up on Thursday, so we can't upload it till Thursday," I'm like, oh. "Gar, Gar, the great thing about having a show is you don't need to tell everyone all the bullshit problems." <laughs> Well, I'd like to have... The, you know, I like to be you. honest with our fans! Yeah. Yeah, you save all the bullshit for Patreon-exclusive content. Yeah. Well, guess what, everybody? In behind I'm, the scenes. I'm not wearing pink right now. <gasps> oh. Gar's I wearing green. Am, I actually am wearing orange, so... Wow, yeah. fucking... Good job, <laughs> Noble. It's an outer orange shirt. I'm fucking loser. Shirt I'm just kidding. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I like, I'm sorry, I have, like, four shirts the exact same color. I'm just kidding, I love you. Hell, when I was freaking 14, I used, I had, like, seven different colored turtlenecks for every day of the week that I'd wear to school. Oh, so. I fucking love turtlenecks. I used to, and then people made fun of me for them, so I stopped wearing them, because I was self-conscious about it. Oh, lame. Literally, when I became Orange Caster, I very slowly started to make all my shirts. Oh, what, so you were like Tommy when you became the Black Dino Charge Ranger? I gotta do some shopping, because my closet doesn't have a lot of black. Yeah, it was... More or less, yes. Wow. Can you imagine I just... Have, I in? have, like, four orange shirts right now that I can wear. I need a new... Like, I need something new that has yellow on it. I need a new I, pink everything. I probably want to make, it like, a yellow jacket or something. I need a new pink hoodie. Like a proper Real hoodie. leaders wear pink. Yep. That's why and I just would... An image. Real leaders wear pink, and it's an image of Jen from Time Force. Well, that's why. Oh. That's, why that's why when Raven's not on the show, I'm leader. Yeah, Granddaddy yeah. Raven. Oh, yeah, you're the light Raven. red ranger. I am. Um. Yeah. So follow us on Facebook, Twitter, castranger.popview.com. Yeah, I follow have... me on Twitter. I'm awesome. Yep. I, I tweet a lot of random pictures and I spout <laughs> stupid shit. So indeed you do. I do. It's my life. Uh, you can follow me. Not on Twitter, because I rarely use that. Yeah, like, he only goes on Twitter when, like, I find something called Twitter. He's like, yo, 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 link that to me, and then I just, like, retweet it. Yeah, like, you retweet it, and I just find it again. Yeah. Um, you can find me on Instagram. It's just my name, Gar. You can follow me on Instagram if you want. Yeah, I mean, don't... I don't fucking use it. I have, like, three pictures up yeah. on my Instagram. Out and then... Six years I've been on it. Or... Because this is my show, so I'm going to plug the hell out of it. You can follow me on my uh, blog channel on, face on Facebook, Gar's Toku Blogs, in which I just made a blog post talking about the passing of Shishi Ranger. Or, uh, Noble, yeah. is there anything you would like to um, plug? Um, 
you can find me on uh, as one half of the Tokusatsu podcast, Rider Town Radio. Inspired by Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. Yes, inspired by Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. I am also <laughs> one twelfth of Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. You are. And you can find me on Twitter at the Noble One One Seven. But mostly, I just tweet about how certain actors should be playing certain DC characters and stuff like that. Yeah, every time I tweet tweet you, like I forget that you have the the in front of your name. So like when I search up, like I put an N O B, it like shows like six other different Noble accounts. I'm like, for fuck's sake, right? It's the Noble. Like it, shit. <laughs> now, is your show Family Guy or the Family Guy? It's Family Guy. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Stop saying good night. Okay, schwa, everybody. Ow.